you're watching CMAD Game Network. Next up is That Wikipedia Game. But first, it's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? Welcome back to the CMAG Game Network. Tonight we're playing That Wikipedia Game. I'm your host, Jack Eamon, and I am joined by Alyssa Wiley, Kale Wilson, and Carrie Sharp. Like I said, tonight we're playing That Wikipedia Game. I'm going to explain the rules real quick. Each of these three contestants have written down the name of a mostly random Wikipedia article on these pieces of paper. I'm going to pick out one of these pieces of paper read it out, and they have to convince me that it is their article. You ready, guys? Yeah, let's do it. Yep. All right, our first article of the night is Lewis J. Rashmill. Lewis J. Rashmill. All right, let's see. Carrie, tell me about Lewis J. Rashmill. Um. He was born in New York City. He was a film producer and art director. He made movies in the 50s and 60s, and he died in, 19, in the 1980s. Entirely believable. How about you, Kale? Well, you know, he, he's a Yankee as he was born in New York. Uh, he was a famous actor, um, starred in many films, and he was a man, he was an amazing man, um, and he is currently dead. I'm sensing a bit of a theme here. How about you, Wiley? What did it... Tell me about Mr. Lewis Rashmill. Lewis, you know, a great man. He made, he made a lot of accomplishments. He was, he was very well known. And this, this man, he was very tall, six foot, well, for me, that's tall, but, um, he was about six foot. He didn't live very long. He lived to about 70, which is average. Not that, not that long, but, um, but yeah, he was an actor. He was in some of, some, some films. Yeah. Can you give me, uh, can you give me any more specifics there? Some specifics. Um, he had brown hair. Brown hair. All right, and, uh, what kind of films did he star in? British. British, British films. Yeah. And about what time period would you say? You know, I would say about the, the 70s. The 70s. Uh, all right, Kale, tell me a little bit about, a little bit more about uh, Mr. Rashmill, the New Yorker actor. Well, you know, he had a saying that he always said, and it was, I love New York. That Yeah, that was his saying. He, he said it instead of saying hi to people. So you'd walk in and people would say, hey, Mr. Rashmill, and he'd say, I love New York. Is uh, is he where the, those I love New York t-shirts come from? Is that, is, are those his? Uh, those are, that's an understatement actually, because he doesn't wear just those. He has an I love New York coffee mug. He had an I love New York hat. You even had I Love New York socks, right, Don't forget Alyssa? the sweatpants. Oh, yeah. He also had I Love New York sweatpants. Can't forget those. Those were iconic. All right. And Carrie, a little bit more about the director, Mr. Rashmill. Uh, after he, in his mid-20s, he moved to California. He lived in Beverly Hills for the rest of his life. He made Western movies. Westerns. And you said he was in the 40s and 50s? Mm-hmm. All right. He was born in like 1904. He had a dachshund named Dash. He was brown and he loved his dog more than anything in the world. All right, did he make any movies about his dog? No, he did not, but his dog did star in one of the movies. Mm. Mm. Do you remember the name of the movie? No, I do not. All right, uh, y'all have all given me Mostly believable stories. Uh, Alyssa, I'm not entirely sure about yours. <laughs> Just the general lack of specifics. Like He's six feet tall. Specifics. Brown hair, six foot tall. 
Yes, but you led with he was a man. <laughs> yeah, because that's what he ended with. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kale, I think that the ears, ears and carries both sound plausible. I think the dates on for Carrie are a little bit wonky. So, Kale, is this your article? No, it is not. It's not? No. Wait, whose is it? I have no idea. It's Carrie's. All right. Well, Kale, you did a pretty good job. Uh, Carrie, you're going to go get a new article, and we're going to take a quick commercial break. All right. Welcome back to the third and final round of that Wikipedia game. For those of you at home keeping track of the points, good, because I haven't. We're going to jump right into this one. This is going to be a bit of a lightning round because Justice only has another five minutes on set, so I'm only going to come to each of you once. So make it count. And our last article of the night is the Dumbo Octopus. The Dumbo Octopus. Justice, tell me about the Dumbo Octopus. Dumbo Octopus lives in the Pacific Ocean. All right. Carrie? The Dumbo octopus is white with little blue rings on it. All right. And Wiley? The Dumbo octopus is actually named by the movie Dumbo, and it is small, about 20 centimeters. 20 centimeters, like, long? Wide? It's just in diameter. Okay. So, we have a small octopus, a Pacific oct octopus, and a white octopus. Now, this is not a lot of information to go off of, but I think it's the white octopus? No, this is not mine. This is not yours. Whose is it? It's Wiley's, again. It is actually named after the movie. It is actually named after the movie. But the Dumbo octopus isn't its scientific name. All right. Well, <laughs> the more you know. I'm afraid that's all we have time for tonight. Once again, I've been Jack Yeaman. I've been joined by Alyssa Wiley, Justice James, Carrie Sharp, and Kill Wilson. This has been That Wikipedia Game. Good night and good luck. Thank you.